best. The poker returns after a red card suspension against Sporting Kansas City. Available play as a 9, a false 9. Ladero and he can interchange in front of Baker, who will make his fifth start after his debut in May. Nicholas Ladero missed their 3-3 three, three draw at Charlotte on June 10th. He's back. Quadro Poku missed LAFC's 2-1 win in Sporting Kansas City because of a red card. He is back. And we are underway at BMO Stadium, the Seattle Sounders and LAFC. So I think the second half, it's going to be to the advantage of the Seattle Sounders because LAFC have been playing every three days for the last couple of months. And yet, every time I'm in this building, often the game's won in the first 25 minutes. Here's Mateus Bogus from distance, and the deflection is just wide open. It's in for Bogus. Mateus Bogus beats Stefan Fry from distance. Speaking of winning the match early on, Bogus with the opener one minute in. About this 11 from LAFC tonight. I said it in the pregame. I said it in the open. Is Bogus through the middle? Does it give him a little bit more freedom to come inside, to come outside? Space in front of him, taking on Jackson Reagan. Deflection or not, great early start from Bogus and LAFC. Stefan Fry, a minute in, picking the ball out of the back of his net. 1 0. Both of these teams missing significant players tonight. At the Gold Cup for Seattle, it's Christian and Alex rolled on. This is maybe a giveaway. Rui Diaz from distance. McCarthy does see this one go wide. And Leo Chu's had himself a real good first half in creating down the left side. Bowanga tried to leave it for Palacios. It ends up with LAFC. A Poku from distance. This one is wide. The metronome for LAFC in Ilya Sanchez. But for me, watching Jao Paulo tonight, Early on, he's something special. Leo Chu, Rui Diaz, big save, John McCarthy. I'm talking about Rui Diaz is going to pull off Maldonado. So now neither center back from LAFC have an idea of. Seattle trying to draw level through their pressure. Baker into the middle, cleared by Chiellini, only as far as Vargas. Obed Vargas clipping it in, Rui Diaz, oh, McCarthy again was there. Again, it was right at him. But we did have to shift over. That's two saves, two minutes apart from John McCarthy on Roll Rui Diaz. Gets back to his form that the Seattle Sounders are going to be the last team standing coming out of the West because the movement, the understanding of space, fantastic run forward from Obed Vargas. But in the blink of an eye, you lose sight of Rui Diaz. Ladero. Cody Baker. Xiao Paulo. From distance, it's over the bar. Apoku. Chrysostomo, across! Wide. Look at this ball. Into Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela feels the pressure, just a little touch to Apoku. And now you're out. Just having the understanding and the. Ilie. Palacios. Palacios drives it. Not a little bit. Fry misread it, but it goes over. Palacios sends it towards Bogus. Flicked on Bowanga. Back to Bogus. Maybe one move forward for LAFC. Bogus to Bowanga. Bowanga sends it wide. A wildly entertaining first half. So much more in store in the second. LAFC and Seattle underway after halftime. LAFC up 1-0. They missed him so much last year. Or is ACL in the CCL final. Tries to play it into Ladero. Makes it to Yamar. Unable to turn. Joe Paulo back on it. Joe Paulo into the side netting. Now Ladero knocking it down towards Vargas. Grisos Damone coming over to collect for LAFC. Oh, late, nasty challenge from Ladero on Ilya. Yellow card to Nicholas Ladero. Mateusz Bogus will serve. Into the near post. Yamar going over Ilya. Ladero helping it on. Risostomo back to Bogus, cutting inside. Bogus driving it into Fry, who's able to hold safely. A set piece to defend right now for the Sounders and an opportunity for LAFC to maybe get a second. Bogus will serve. Dangerous ball in! And it is headed in! It is remarkably. Jose Cifuentes off the plane, onto the score sheet. League is doubled, 2-0, LAFC on top. And the 
first half, LAFC had two clear-cut chances for Ryan Hollinshead off of set pieces. This ball, what a ball in with pace in front of the goalkeeper, but a wide open header from Jose Sapuentes. Still has not called for a video review yet. Here it is. So Ted Uncle's going to go look at the monitor to see if he agrees that this goal was scored off of the hand of Jose Sapuentes. But he heads this, the ball hits his head first, make no mistake about it, but then directly off the right hand. Head, hand, ball in the back of the net, that's no goal for me. Now we could have a debate about the handball law, the defenders, the attackers, but that's not what this is. And then it's the quick deflection off the hand that ends up in the net. He's taking a lot of looks at it, and that it's one no seems goal. to be definitive. No goal, handball. So it's still 1-0. So Fuentes has a ton of room in the middle of the field. Now Bue, Palacios coming forward and overlapping. Bue to Palacios. Palacios in a poker! Oh my! As good of a chance as you could ever want to end the game. Can't lose possession in that moment. Again, though, Duenas helping break it up. And it's full time in LA. A second straight win for LAFC who go atop the West thanks to a first-minute Mateusz Bogus goal, 1-0 the final.